Yep. We're now paying the interest on $30 trillion in debt. Who gets those interest payment payments? Who is benefiting from that? Well, it's the, it's the government, right? It's the government goes into debt with the people. So we, you know, everyone says it's China and all that. That's not true. The 80 or 90 percent of the bonds, the treasuries are held by the U.S. public. Uh, but uh, we go into debt and we have to pay the interest. And it's like on your car payment. It's nice to have a car. It's nice to have a house. Uh, but you know what a pain those interest payments are. And all the good financial advisor, advisors say, hey, avoid interest at all costs. You spend, you, you look at your, uh, you know, your, your mortgage account, you pay way more in interest than you do for the entire house. And so that's the damage and that's the cost. And, it, you know, there, there's a, a thing in economics called moral hazard, right? And so the Fed uh, doesn't want to increase interest rates uh, because you'll, you, you know, just if you just say you paid 10% on $30 trillion, that's $3 trillion a year. That's the size of the economy, right? If the interest rate was 10%, it's not that high. Uh, but it's it's going to go toward five uh, with, in, in, a, in a short time as the Fed slows things down. And so everyone says, boy, well, it's a good thing the Fed kept interest rates at zero for 10 years in a row and violated all of uh, economics and price theory because the interest rate is the price of money. It's the central price in the economy. And so I'm being sarcastic here. And so I'm glad they kept uh, the interest rate at zero uh, for 10 years uh, because we didn't have to pay for the debt. Well, the moral hazard problem there is uh, the American people never got to see the full cost of what the Fed was doing. You should see the full cost of paying interest payments on your debt, because then you won't take out that much debt. Uh, 